My question is why is Prophet Isa, peace be upon him, mentioned more times in the Quran by name as compared to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? And this is the question that is asked by Christian missionaries to the Muslims that how many times is the name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, mentioned in the Quran? If you don't know, they'll tell you he's mentioned five times by name. Four as Muhammad and one as Ahmad. How many times is Isa a.s. mentioned by name in the Quran? If you don't know, they'll tell you by name Isa a.s. is mentioned in the Quran 25 times. So then they ask the question, who's greater? A person who's mentioned five times by name in the Quran is greater or a person who's mentioned 25 times by name in the Quran is greater? How can you reply to this question? What you have to realize that just because a person is mentioned more number of times by name doesn't make him superior than a person who is mentioned less number of times. Why is the name of Prophet Muhammad by name only mentioned five times, four as Muhammad and one says Ahmad وسلم, and Isa salam mentioned 25 times by name. The reason is when the Quran was being revealed, Muhammad وسلم, was present. So when you are addressing someone who is present, you can refer to him as you, thee, thou. But when the Quran was being revealed, Isa a.s. wasn't present. If I have to talk about someone who is not present, to initiate the discussion on that person who is not present, his name has to be taken. For example, I was inspired by Sheikh Ahmad Didat. I have to take his name and then I can say he did this, he did that. So to initiate the discussion on a person who is not present, his name has to be taken. That is the reason whenever Quran speaks about Isa a.s. To start discussion on Isa a.s. His name has to be taken and then it can say that he did this, he did that. So that is the reason there are 25 times that Isa a.s. has been discussed in the Quran. Every time he is discussed, his name has to be taken. Whereas Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, when the Quran was revealed, he was present. So his name need not be taken. You, the, thou, ya, O Prophet, O Nabi. Very easy. He is mentioned hundreds of times. So because Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was present, his name did not be taken. Isa Alaihi was not present. That's the reason whenever any information has to be given about a present, about a person who is not present, to initiate his name has to be taken. That's the reason Musa Alaihi Salam in the Quran is, is mentioned by name 132 times. Does that make him a, a bigger prophet? And the answer is no. Because the examples of Musa are more in the Quran. And whenever, whenever an incident has to be mentioned, his name has to be taken. Iblis is mentioned in the Quran 11 times. Does that make Iblis greater? No. What you have to understand, the number of times a person is mentioned doesn't make him greater. The qualities mentioned about the person makes him superior. And we know that Alhamdulillah, that all the messengers, we love them, we respect them equally. But there are five messengers mentioned as the greatest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is uh, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Nuh alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam and Musa alayhi salam. And undoubtedly, of course, the last and final messenger is the greatest and the best exemplary human being and the last and final messenger and is the highest Allah says that we cannot differentiate between the, between the messenger. So just because he mentioned more time by name doesn't make him superior. If that is the case then Musa is mentioned more number of time does that make him superior and the answer is no. Hope that answers the question.